Today, we're going to show you another cool spot around Ubud, the Sedia Dharma House of Masks and Puppets. If you're planning to check out Goa Gaja, make sure to throw this place on your list and hit both up in one go. If you're into Balinese or Javanese culture and art, you've come to the right spot. And if you're a big fan of masks and puppets, this video is a must watch. But hey, if you're just looking for a chill spot in Bali that won't cost you a dime and isn't swarming with tourists, this is the perfect place for you. Let's jump right in. In 2004, this Indonesian dude named Agustinus Prayitno put together four old school Jagua houses he'd shipped to Bali from Central and East Java. Worried that the cool masks his ancestors made were fading away, Prayitno thought, let's create a spot where folks can dig into the history of Indonesian culture. So he stuffed those Joglo houses with his personal stash, a whopping 1,300 puppets and 5,000 masks from all around the Indonesian islands and beyond. We walked into the first Joglo house and saw the faces of Hindu gods on black velvet, faces like Hanuman and Shiva that I recognized. Bali is the only Hindu island in Indonesia and about 83 of Balinese people follow Balinese Hinduism. For more than a thousand years, Balinese folks have been using these masks and temple dances to tell epic stories from their Hindu religion, such as the Toping dance and the Ramayana dance. The whole thing gets pretty spiritual for the Balinese. They're all about believing that gods and goddesses chill in everything, even in a sacred mask. And speaking of those masks, they're not just cool accessories. They've got the real vibe of the character they stand for. So when a Balinese dancer throws on a mask, it's not just play, acting like we do in the West. Nah, they're straight up becoming that character. We strolled into this room that was jam-packed with Indonesian shadow puppets, and their dainty silhouettes were tracing the wall like lace. These cool flat puppets, known as weighing kulit, are crafted from thin sheets of perforated and carefully painted leather. Depending on the story they're spinning, a set of these weighing kulit puppets can have any number of characters, kings, princes, lovers, teachers, gods, demons, and giants. There's this one puppet master, the Delang, who works the puppets and talks for them to share their tales. They're projected onto a see-through screen that's pulled tight and lit up with coconut oil lamps. The performances for the Shadow Puppet Theater happen at night and usually keep going until dawn. Plus, there's usually a crew of up to 15 gamelin musicians rocking it alongside. I'd always be waiting here Even when we are apart. As we headed to the third house, stuff got kind of creepy and dark. Faces looked twisted, weird bumps and jagged things sticking out, and there were these wooden lumps shaped like eyeballs, all worn smooth with generations of dirt on them. The House of Masks and Puppets is just a few miles away from the heart of Bubud, and you can get there in just a 20-minute ride with Grab or Gojek. They're open every day from 8 a to 4 p.m., and the best part is there's no entry fee. However, everything inside is totally worth making a donation to help keep all the collections in tip-top shape. If you found this information helpful, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up, sharing with friends, and subscribing to our channel for more travel plans and tips. After strolling through fourth houses packed with cultural masks from all over the world, you'll find 1,300 masks from Indonesia, Africa, and Japan, along with 5,700 puppets from Indonesia, China, Malaysia, Thailand, Myanmar, and Cambodia. We saw the same one we checked out in Kurama, Kyoto, when we were in Japan. The House of Masks and Puppets has stuff from other countries, but most of the collection is from different parts of Indonesia. They're still collecting through buying and getting donations from all sorts of places, like from enthusiastic visitors, collectors, and foreign artists living in Indonesia. Augustinus Prayitno, just like other Balinese folks who groove with masks and work puppets, is trying to keep his culture going strong in today's world. He's gone all out, even showcasing a puppet of Barack Obama next to one of himself. The House of Masks and Puppets has its collection stored in four cool juglo houses, which are traditional Javanese antique houses. These special joglos mostly come from East and Middle Java, and they're crafted from high-quality teak wood, They've been set up to make sure they stay in good shape over time. The House of Masks and Puppets sits on a sprawling area of over 10,000 square meters. It's got four exhibition spaces, an open field, a lush Balinese garden, and even a performance stage. 
we really suggest checking out the House of Masks and Puppets and Goa Gaija in one trip. Ever heard of Goa Gaija? Watch this video. Appreciate you tuning in. Yeah.